I would think, given the decreased demand for Duralithium, now that the Sand Seraphines have disbanded their airship fleet, you would welcome the opportunity to expand to new markets, Octavia Francine. I think an offer from an upstanding banker such as Mr. Worthington himself to invest in the Wheeler Grange venture would prove very tempting. My wife is not so impetuous as to- The reality is that Reginald is unwilling or perhaps unable to provide me with sufficient background information. He has yet to tell me where this wonderful tip came from. And since Daddy died, half of the bank belongs to me. And for all I know, these Wheeler Grange people could be no more than speculators in the pelts of marsupial dogs. Tionchi idiotino, ne miam conas, kiam oni donati sal shi hazardon. You must take Papa's word for it, Octavia, dear. Octavia Francine. And after all, all of us have invested in the Wheeler Grange. I've put all of my little nest egg into Uncle's hands. I trust him. It isn't a matter of trust, Elizabeth. It's simply sound business practice. Exerzado perpectigos. <laughs> I assure you, Regina, the sums involved are no laughing matter. And I can assure you, dear Octavia Francine, that none of us were laughing at the money. Father certainly wasn't joking when he offered you half of the shares. How can you tell? And just what do you mean by that remark? Nun commensus la vortpatalo. Just that it might be difficult to tell what your father is thinking. Chuxoka, carezo memiestas. What are you implying? Nothing, I assure you. But you must wonder what. Hush what's... now, dearest. Why should I hush? It's the common gossip of the whole exchange. What gossip do you mean, Octavia? About Papa? Oh, for goodness sake, Regina, you know very well that people are asking whether the once great Reginald Worthington is really in charge of the bank at all. He's lost his grip on reality. The half of the investors think the company is being run by that, that, that thing. If my father was still alive- Lucky, behave yourself. And Edwin and I founded the bank- Shut up, you old coot! Octavia, you've gone too far. I demand satisfaction. Choose your weapon. Reggie! Octavia, no. Oh, how horrible. Very well. Pistols. One week from today. Come, Devrim. I shall have to practice my shooting. Unless you have something else to say? I think this has gone past words. Holy crap! Did that Did really just, just happen? Octavia complotas, kashi certi dungas al grifonon. Sed vi devas pagi la grifon an pluor Octavia, ke li ne bort pafis, regi. Ke diro ali ke li pafis shin io mete, yela shotro, po shiny vera, ke ke shi lernu humiliation. Ernest says you're being unreasonable. He had to beg me to stop you. Ernest needs to grow up. He loves you. He doesn't want to lose you. I would have thought that a man would understand such things. I'm doing this to defend the Honorable Worthington family name. Well, he's not thinking rationally. No, he never does. What, does he think he should do it? Oh, I know. All your championships. Are you worried? Of course not. I can't believe Octavia chose pistols. <laughs> I can't believe she agreed to a duel at all. I don't think she's ever held a pistol, let alone shot one. <laughs> but how can I possibly pass up the chance to put a bullet in a little bitch? Mm. And then you can marry Devrim. Oh, or if you don't want him, Cousin Elizabeth can have him. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, I beg of you, do not do this. It's far too late for me to back out now. I love you, Regina. I couldn't bear to watch you die. Don't make me emotional. You're likely to get me killed. Octavia Francine, this is insanity. You can't go through with this. Gina Worthington has won the Imperial Cup for small arms the past three years running. As if I didn't know that. I have a trick up my sleeve. I'll show her she's not so clever. Octavia, come to your senses. The only thing you'll show her is that you make a very beautiful target. I have it all under control, Debris. I've hired the Griffin.
Octavia Francine, Regina. You know, Octavia, you can still back out now with only the smallest splotch on your name and family honor. I am the Imperial Champion, after all. I'm sure you can salvage some remnant of your reputation. Your concerns, Reggie, are unnecessary. Perhaps you are the one who would like to back down. Just think what your death will do to your poor papa's already diminished senses. Enough talking. Ladies, you may take your weapons. Now, when I have you take your marks, you will remain with weapons raised until the kerchief hits the ground, at which point you may give fire. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Ladies, two marks. Oh, this is terribly exciting, isn't it? No, not really. Reggie! Just like we planned. It was easy. You're welcome.